Hello, and welcome back to Horizon Forbidden West. We are continuing where we left off in the last video. We're about ready to talk to Beta. When we finished our last mission, <coughs> collecting Poseidon, uh, Varl told us that we needed to go talk to Beta, so that's what we're about to do. So without further ado, Let's get into the video. All right. Excellent. So, let's open the door. Hi. <laughs> Happy birthday, Isaac. Daddy sure does love his little big man. She found that recording from the data on your focus. She's been watching it a lot. <laughs> I think it helps calm her. You know, I used to watch this a lot, too. Hi. Whenever I wanted to take my mind off things. Daddy sure does love his little bit. But there's something you need to tell me? While you were gone, I came down here to check on her. Then we started talking. Right, Beta? She's been thinking about how to capture Hephaestus, studying the data Gaia gave her. But we started talking about some other stuff. You know, just getting to know each other, right? And then she told me that one of the Zeniths might be different from the others. Tilda. You saw her at the Hades Proving Lab. Go on. On the way to Earth, the Zeniths never showed their faces. My servitor caretaker referred to them as my benefactors and promised I'd meet them someday when I had learned enough. And then? One day, a data channel opened in my training interface. In it, Tilda was waiting for me in a virtual replica of a house on a cliff overlooking the ocean. It was beautiful. She showed me paintings, books, media files. We met there in secret many times. But a few months later, it stopped. Can you tell us why, Beta? I found some data about Tilda at the Hades Proving Lab. I think she was a liaison between Far Zenith and Zero Dawn. She knew Elizabeth Sobek, that's for sure. Maybe that's why she reached out to you? Okay. Uh, Tilda. What else can you tell us about Tilda? She... liked to talk about her paintings. What about herself? Did she ever talk about her life on Earth? How she joined the Zeniths? Something like that? She never said much about herself, and she hated it when I asked too many questions. But I think, back on Earth... She was an expert programmer, given that she built a data channel the other Zeniths couldn't detect. Is there anything else about her that we might be able to use to our advantage? She was the first real person who ever bothered to speak to me. I wasn't really assessing her for strengths and weaknesses. Right. Data channel. You said that Tilda reached out to you using a data channel? It appeared in my training interface as another assignment. When I opened it, there were a series of intermittent glitches. I realized they formed a transpositional cipher. Instructions on how to open up a new virtual space. When I entered it, my training interface disappeared. Instead of the usual holographic teachers and files, I was in a perfect recreation of her home. And you're sure the other Zeniths never knew about it? To them, it looked like I was still in training. Toiling away. Alone. Okay, the house. So this secret virtual space looked like a house with an ocean view? I could see white caps and hear waves crashing on rocks below. And there were gulls 
crying outside. Inside, Tilda had frames that showed off her favorite paintings, changing at intervals to match the light. There was an armchair she liked. She'd sit there and gaze outside while I looked through her things. We spent hours in that house. I never wanted to leave. Right. And painting and files? You said Tilda showed you paintings and let you access media files? Every time we met, she showed me a new painting. I, I think she was Dutch. All of her favorite pieces were from their golden age in the 1600s. Portraits, allegories, ships at sea. She had so many. Did it interest you? I liked her media portal. It had so much more than my training interface. Clips, shows, hollows. My favorite was this one called Second Time Around, about a family whose kid comes back after disappearing during the hot zone crisis. Right, but did this portal have anything about the Zeniths themselves? Anything we could use? No. Any information about them was redacted. Of course. She cut you off. So Tilda set up a secret virtual space where she could talk to you, a house on a cliff. Then later, she cut you off. But other than the fact that Tilda knew Elizabeth, you don't know why she did those things? I don't, okay? I thought of every possible reason that would make her leave, but whatever I did wrong, I don't know what it is. When I finally met the others, she ignored me. I acted like the data channel never existed. None of this even matters. Tilda's the same as the others. It won't help us defeat them. Okay. Let's leave it at that then. All right. What's wrong? I'm trying, Varl. But she is tough to take. I'm out there in the wilds, risking my life every day, and all she can do is hide in there and tell us how hopeless it all is. I'm sorry, she's had a rough time, but she is really not helping right now. Hmm. You always seem to be on top of everything, so I sometimes forget about what you've been through. I mean, it wasn't that long ago you were so banged up you couldn't even walk. About that. When I pulled you out of the water back near the proving lab, you were muttering Rost's name. You never talk about him, but he raised you trained you you must miss him a lot of course i do but i don't have time to think about that now i need to get back out there okay i'll keep working with beta gaia says she knows a lot about zero dawn and maybe she just needs some time to adjust and then she can help us with hephaestus sure but i won't hold my breath Well, in our last episode, <clears throat> Seeds of the Past, our last episode, uh, Gaia told us that, let's check this door, uh, that there was a lot of maintenance space. Nice. That she opened up a lot of new doors. So, let's check some of these out. Power cells? Huh. Interesting. of lights just turned on up here was that you oh. huh. yeah I guess it was hey okay. 
I better keep this down here. I better keep this down here. Interesting. up here and everybody wants to talk. What's this? Oh, that's a way out. We don't want to go that way. beta has been difficult to figure out. She's just so closed off. I get that the Zeniths were cruel to her that the one called Tilda abandoned her, but I can't get her out of her shell. I don't know. Maybe nothing can. All right. Oh, come on. Stop that. I know Varl meant well bringing up Rost. I just... I guess it's hard to talk about. With everything going on, it feels easier to set those memories aside. At least for now. Restocked everything. <laughs> Looks like Gaia was able to unlock that door. There's a lot of equipment in here. Gaia? What was all the... Four. This room was designed for management of the facility's vast seed banks. From here, control center operatives would have monitored new crop rotations into the automated farmlands, now known as Plainsong. I see. To activate the projector? Into this console, there are still thousands of plant samples stored deep below the facility. I could ask Gaia about them the next time I talk to her. Right on. What's next? Go we'll talk to this guy. Mind if we have a word? Of course not. Uh, you're training? It must be strange. Seeing everything through a focus now. I can see machines like never before. Their strengths and weaknesses simply... Reveal themselves to me. To think that such a tiny object might be the most powerful weapon I've ever possessed. And you're training again? What do you think of this place? It must take some getting used to. It's an efficient center of operations, and present for me. It's difficult to explain. I can't claim to understand. Only empathize. Then you have my thanks. Companions again. Have you spoken with Erend at all? I've had little chance to. I did see him bring some ale from out east. That stuff's as bitter as self-brush. You get used to it, eventually. In fact, I wouldn't mind a drink myself. I'm sure Erend wouldn't mind sharing. Right? I should get going. If I can help in some way, say the word. I will. Thank you. All right. Let's go talk to Carl. Hey, got a sec? Of course. Uh, Ross. You brought up Ross before. I do think about him. You know, he was all I had. And he brought me up the best he could. 
Not only that, when Hades discovered who I was and sent the Eclipse after me, he sacrificed himself so I could survive. But that seems like ages ago. So much has happened since. What I'm doing now, I don't think he could even begin to understand it. The Sacred Lands were all he really knew. So I can't let myself dwell on him. Not with everything I have to do. I understand. Sometimes, when I think about my sister, about what she would have become if she had survived the proving, it hurts. And I just need to bury it for a while. But only for a while, Aloy. You can't ignore it forever. Memories always come back. The ones that matter, anyway. I know. But for now, the mission has to come first. Fair enough. All right. The Zeniths. It's hard to believe we're dealing with the original Zeniths. The same ones that left for Sirius a thousand years ago. To live on for so long, it doesn't seem natural. Because it's not. That weapon we found where Beta was hiding, any chance we can use that against them? Silence made sure that wasn't an option. Why would he build something to hurt Far Zenith, yet allow them to capture you? With Silence, there's always an angle. We just don't know what it is yet. What do you make of this Tilda the Beta was talking about? Well, the way she described it, I can't shake off the feeling that Tilda wanted something from Beta. Maybe because she's Elizabeth Sobek's clone? But whatever she wanted, I don't think she got it. If we knew what it was, maybe we could use it to our advantage somehow. Uh, I don't know. I don't think Tilda and Elizabeth were on the best of terms. Oh well. At least we can take some comfort in knowing the Zeniths don't trust each other. Maybe. Might be able to use it to our advantage. I was training. Discovering something new about our past every day. When we first met, you asked me if I ever wondered what this world looked like when the old ones lived here. I thought it was strange at the time, but a lot has changed since I left the Embrace. Now I'm just trying to make sense of everything I thought I knew, and versus everything I know now. The change is hard, but it gets easier over time. All right. <clears throat> Feeling okay? I was just thinking about Beta and all that time spent with the Zeniths. To think someone would make a person just to lock them in a room to use when needed, like some sort of tool. Elizabeth Sobek sacrificed herself for the world, and yet they have no trouble treating Beta like a slave. Another reason we have to stop them. All right, well, farewell. I should get back out there. We'll be here if you need us. Let's talk to Zoe next. Aloy. Hey, how's everything going? I am well, but Varl told me Beta's having a hard time adjusting to life here with us. I wish there was something I could do to help. I'm not sure any of us can. A tree won't bear fruit in a day. We'll do our best to make her feel welcome. Are you guys training with Erend as well? If you count trying to stick a spear in his gut as training, then yes. Are you serious? Of course not. Good. <laughs> I was going for a couple of broken bones. He called the Utaru leaf grazers. Laughed at the idea of us simple farmers being formidable fighters. Before I knew it, he and I were battling it out in the common room. The man is slow, but he can throw a hammer around. Don't look so worried. We're evenly matched. For now. Next time he's going down like a load of boar dump. Just try not to kill each other. Injuring his pride should be good enough. All right. Uh, companions again? Is there anything I can help with around here? Hmm? Oh, no. We're doing fine. Are you okay? You and Varl have been friends for a while. I like to think so. I was wondering... What do you know about his mother? Oh. That bad, huh? Why do you want to know? He's spoken of his sister, Vala, but... I noticed he avoids talking about his mother. 
She's the war chief of the Nora. Best warrior the tribe's ever known. Tougher than a Thunderjaw, but she could be pretty harsh at times. I see. That must have been hard on him. Thank you for telling me. I feel silly not being able to ask Varl directly. I wouldn't worry about it. He's probably afraid Sona will scare you off someday. I'd like to see her try. <laughs> You're training? Have anything else combing through that data? Varl and I have been looking into the animals of the old world. Apparently there used to be thousands more species roaming around than there are today. Can you imagine that? I'd give anything to see them. Even as holograms. Though I know that without Artemis or Apollo that may prove difficult. At least I can find comfort in knowing Gaia used many of them as inspiration for her machines. Her memory honors them. And again? Going to learn next? I'm not sure. I asked Gaia for suggestions and she brought up data you found on something called a... Museum? From what I gather, the old ones would store knowledge in them for all to see and learn from. Like you've done here for us. Maybe one day, more people will be able to use this place to learn the way we have. That sounds... crowded, but nice. <laughs> the Zenus. She tested a number on Beta. But she seems to trust Varl. I still can't believe she told him the Zeniths are immortals. Old ones who cut themselves off from the cycle of life and decay. I've never heard of anything so selfish. To deny our dying bodies to the Earth. To doom the life that would bloom in their place. It's despicable. Alright, farewell. Get going. Good luck on your search. Alright, let's uh... Go talk to... Oh, look at this. We have a hey, look. in front of us here. Uh, it's everything all right? It, it seemed like you and Varl were down in that basement for a while. Yeah, everything's fine, I guess. Well, okay. Uh, what, what can I do for you? I was hoping you could help me with something. It's about the Tanakh rebels, and it also has to do with the Osirum. Really? That doesn't sound good. Let me know what I can do to help. Holy. Rebels in the Osirum. I discovered an Osirum militant group. They call themselves the Sons of Prometheus. It looks like they're the ones overriding machines for the Tanakh rebels. I thought that was something only you could do. They're familiar with ancient tech. And they're as anti-Karja as it gets. So... Last year, we stopped Durval and his cronies from blowing up Meridian in retribution for the Red Raids. And now you're telling me we have another group of Asaram trying to wipe out the Karja with... with an army of machines and bloodthirsty Tanakh? Pretty much. Oh, well, that's just great! <laughs> Is there any way you can help me find out who they are? Anything to track them down and stop them? Yeah, I can send out some messages from Chainscrape. Get in touch with my contacts in the claim, see what I can find out. I'd appreciate that. Excellent. Your training. You still sifting through loads of data? Yeah, it's interesting. There's lots of words. I, I thought maybe I could try finding things with more, you know, pictures in it. Not much luck there, but I, I did find out about these uh, hollow films, like images put together to tell a story. Uh, they were made to look like they were the real thing. Uh, the Osiram like shows. I bet they pay a lot of shards for those hollows. Again? It seems like you're getting a hang of this data thing. Yeah, it's been helpful. When I could make sense of anything. I did find the old ones enjoyed a good brew like the rest of us. Only they let machines serve the stuff in bars. They even let the damn things cut you off before you saw the underside of a table. Uh, and that's half the fun. Now, you won't see me letting a robot serve me a pitcher anytime soon. Companions? How are things going around here? Hey, you tell me. Varl's new girlfriend tried to kill me earlier. So I hear. I made one joke about how they, you know, eat grass a lot. 
How does anyone fight with nothing but tree leaves in their stomach anyway? From the looks of it, the Utaru. Yeah, well, I wasn't expecting it to be that fast. Just try not to get hurt. <laughs> I see someone's been playing strike. I'm just trying to get some practice in. Helps take my mind off things. You should try playing Katalo. It's a Tanakh game. Maybe you'll learn something. Uh, sure, Tanakh. Sure you won't try and kill me if I win? Pretty sure. Good luck winning, though. Do I smell ale? I brought some over from Chain Scrape. Hey, with everything that's been going on, I thought we could all use a drink. Besides, there is nothing that brings people together like a good brew. That's what my sister always said, anyways. Hey, you're more than welcome to have some. Maybe another time. All right. Uh, let's say farewell for now. Back to reading, I guess. Do be careful out there. Okay. So that's everything around the base, it seems, for now. Pretty sure. Craft up some of these, maybe? Okay. Enough of that. See so you play pretend on top of the table. Let's get on with it. Prickling my lungs. Oops. We have a long way to go. Another tall neck there, too. Okay. Coordinates that Gaia gave me for Demeter are close. There's lights in that ruin. Where we go? Oh! Oh, damn! your fire! I'm not here to fight! The barbarian's pinned down. Move in! Okay, whoever these people are, it looks like we're not gonna be friends. Come with me. Let's take them out. I need to get past these hostels and into the ruins. Want more? Ooh, goodness, what the heck? Protect the site! Kill her! All right, let's keep going. Not one more step, barbarian! Ooh. I can keep going. Oh, goodness. There. They have a lot of fire stuff around them. 
that stuff that I can shoot? This is where she was. Start here. You no, one there. One you there over there. I'll try this way. I'm ready for her. Have you are ready for me? Maybe you scared her off. I'm ready for it. Take you all out. Where you at? According to Gaia, it should be somewhere in these ruins. Could be. That's helpful. Up down there? Maybe? No? I guess we're going this way. Looks like some sort of... Old office complex. Should be right beyond that door, but those vines are blocking the way. Unless I can cut through them, I'm gonna need to find another way in. robot command time's running out I didn't have the heart to tell Harris that our cure might be worse than the disease even if adamantine wreath works we still have to prove we can curtail the trailing plants efficiently but Cobble's team is working on it over at test station Ivy is this where we're gonna learn how to Use the metal flowers. Had a menting wreath. Another secret project. Well, they made the metal flowers here and the vines, so maybe I can find a way to destroy them. If I can find Test Station Ivy. Uh oh. Great. These guys again. 
Whoever they are, they want me dead. I better be careful. Soldiers out quietly. There's a barbarian in the compound. She got past the lookouts. Find her, kill her, and bring her head to the lieutenant. Understood. I guess diplomacy is off the table. I'm sick of the whole business. False alarm. Call it off. Never understand a single word they say. Hmm. get close to that. Of course not. How can the legacy have led us here? Where are you coming from? Oh goodness gracious. Goodness gracious. Where's this guy at? Right here. Oof! What is this? Crazy weapon. Where are you? Right there. what you get. Give me that. Alright, let's go take these guys out. One more. For the ancestor. I'm tired. 
tired of the island. Tired of the whole damn continent. Zerk Hunter arrows are now available. Nice. Oh! Get off my screen! There we go. Nice headshot. I really wish these people would have talked to me instead of trying to kill me. Right? Oh no, I need to find out of this courtyard. Gather all this. Can we get in this door now? Yes. There we go. That door looks promising. I submit. Do as you will. I didn't want to fight your friends out there. They attacked me. If by death alone I can atone our trespass. I'm not gonna kill you, okay? I just want to figure out what's going on. Where did you get that focus? Uh, I'm of the chosen people. The Quen. The ancestors left the power of the focus to us alone, the eye that reveals the legacy. The legacy, huh? The legacy? Uh, the truth. Now, it is in the darkness and the lost places. <laughs> Among the ancient ashes and the bones of the before that it lies waiting. You know, as a diviner, it is my task to seek it out for the good of my people. You're looking for data. Maybe we can help each other. What's your name? Alpha, second diviner of the Eastern Expedition. I'm Aloy. Why don't we start again? Uh, I really want to go through all this, but we've already been recording for almost an hour, I'm so. Looking for a place in this facility called Test Station Ivy. Have you found any data that mentions it? No. Uh, but I did find something that looks like a map, uh, but it was unreadable. Lost. Maybe I can make some sense of it. Uh, there. There's a lot of files here. <sighs> I've been through all of them. Look in the GH facility section. Like I said, a lost file. You can't see the map? It's okay. It looks like your focus is an early model. The operating system won't be able to read any files created after the mid-2050s. But I could share them with you. Share them? You can see what is lost, then forbidden. Not lost, not forbidden, just a newer format. There, that's where I need to go. Oh, but you can't get there. We've been here for a week trying to get deeper into the complex. The way has been blocked by rubble. What about this tunnel? It looks like it unlocks from here. No. I thought these might be some kind of access controls, but I couldn't read enough data to make them work. Let's try with my focus, okay? I believe these consoles were meant to be operated in unison, but I'm not sure. Okay. Authenticate. Here we go. Following your lead. The ancestors have shown us the way. Come on, let's go. You want me to come with you? It took yes. both of us to open up that tunnel, didn't it? Oh, this place is a maze. 
According to the map, there should be another exit further in. Just stay close. Lead the way. Ooh. Sorry about that. I can't believe you actually got to see I was dreading having to stay here any longer with those soldiers. They slaughtered the barbarians that approached the oh, south. Fire gleam. Well, it was like they enjoyed it. Better send that. People aren't like that. Okay. Well, that was loud. There we go. Interesting. There has to be a way out of here. Greenhouse, huh? What's that thing in the wall? There has to be a way out of here. Thing in the wall, huh? There. What's that thing in the wall? Ah. Good call. There we go. Through here. Maybe we should try another path. Maybe. We haven't tried that smaller tunnel over there. According to the map, the exit should be this way. I'll be glad to get back above ground. Feels like a tomb down here. Hey. One big bird. That can't be good. They fly to him from the complex several times a day. Only the ancestors know why. Well, the ancestors are dead, Elva. Of course. How else could they be ancestors? <sighs> Looks like we have more pressing concerns. Follow my lead. Okay. I saw one of these. Data point. All right. Grab some supplies. From my stash when I need it. Gather that. And their way up or out. Somehow, somewhere. Came up from there. That way? Machines. We 
we can fight them. Got that. Got that. Got that. Shredding jaws weren't enough, apparently. Oof. We're still undetected. For now. Do need to get them off of me though. Come on. Get up. Jump. Go. Would you stop? There we go. Out of here. Oh, goodness. I have it. That was crazy. A vent. I think I can pull it open. Got it. I I'm right behind you. Just have to find a way up now. Like that. Maybe 
Maybe we can get through that hatch on the ground. It looks like the one we used at the first station. There's consoles up here, too! I know where to get to them. You stay put. I'll see what I can find. Looks like we need a key. Like there's a power cell in there. What are those things along the walls? Nice, some power gleam here. Warning me next time you decide to uh, uh, blow up a wall. I'll uh, <laughs> try. Please. Are there any power cells around here? Cells on the floor lead into the walls. Need to access a power cell somewhere. Is there some kind of storage in the walls? To power that up. I can move these things. There we go. Huh. There's some space back there. This should help. Oh, and there's the key. If you can hop on top of it, I can get you to those consoles. Exactly. Where are you? on top hold it there let me just i jumped on top there you go hold on that's good jumping over <sighs> made it i'm at the console wait there's data here. A, a lot. But it's blocked. Something's restricting access. If I can't get past it, my mission here is doomed. Alva, I'll help. If I can, okay? But first we have to get out of here. Right. We need to open the hatch. Okay, let's see. Okay. I'm unlocking a storage unit. There should be a power cell inside. Then you need to find a way into the generator room. Okay, I'm on it. Okay, that 
brought power back to the doors. You can reach me now. On my way. All right. Okay. We need to operate both consoles simultaneously to open the hatch. I'll get to the other console. You stay here. Ready when you are. Okay. Here we go. Okay, you ready? On two. One, two. Commencing adamantine reach vulnerability test scenario. 12C15. Okay, that's where we need to go. Magnetic field engaged. Initiating biomass conversion process. What? No, 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 no. Oh. What is this? Death. That's how the world ended. Test complete. Adamantine restructural integrity uncompromised. What did we just see? Let's meet below. I'm gonna share a file with you, okay? Test log, um, uh, I think it's Tuesday. The second? Who cares? I'll say this for the end of the world. It's jam-packed with irony. We developed biomass conversion here. Infinite food for infinite machines. And now we're racing against time to find something to give them indigestion. Well, it works. War machines won't be able to eat the reeds. But can we deploy them in time? God, I hope so. I don't understand. Your ancestors, they were wiped out. Your legacy didn't tell you that? The time of ashes. But most of the data about that is lost or forbidden. Well, they created machines that consumed all life. You just saw how. It's a miracle anything survived. I don't want to know this. This is not why I'm here. I need the wisdom of my ancestors to help save my people, not forbidden knowledge of their sins. I need to find something that helps, something to bring back. The overseers will punish me, or even worse, people will die. Do you understand? My family, my sister. I left her when she was 14. Already you could see her bones. They will starve. Alva. Alva, I get it. I do. It's hard to explain, but you and I are working toward the same goal. And if I succeed, your people won't need any data. Things will just... They will get better. But even if I believe you, my people won't. I need to bring something back. Okay. Then we'll go to Test Station Ivy. And if I can find a way to kill those vines, then I will have access to the data core. What I need is in there. I'm pretty sure that if I take it, it will unblock access to all the data that this place has. And that will give you something to bring home. 
I'm not sure I understand. But every secret makes its own maze. A diviner must persevere. Go on. I'll follow. Very well. We need to keep moving. Test station Ivy can't be far off. I'm guessing down. Another maze. But the road to truth is never a straight line. Dead end. And stuff over there. How do I get to it? So the metal flowers, what the data refer to as adamantine wreaths, they were supposed to stop the destruction that caused it, so I never asked. Are you from around here? No. I'm not. I spent most of my life in a place for a Well, we both traveled a long way then. This is it. What is? Ah, right here. Greenhouse. Okay, let's find a way to get into the Proving Ground. <sighs> that complex should be Test Station Ivy. Buddy. We're gonna have to take it out to get into the test station. You with me? Nope. Nope. Don't you dare. Please. Fire. to get close. Come here. There you go. That help? Oh, come on. Get up. Run to this side. Anywhere. Goodness gracious. to be oh died <laughs> I wasn't paying attention to my health um.
don't have any fire. I guess a blast trap would be the best. Please don't. Oh, it pulled my... hurting for nothing. Oh. Come on, you pain. Come on. Run. Look, is this helpful at all? Probably not. Yep, that still affects me in here. Okay. Maybe I can... I just fire. to this side.
doing? Goodness gracious, come on. I don't know if I need ammunition, I need... Stop. Uh oh, no, 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 no. Run. There we go. Run. Run. I have no health. Almost down. There we go. That was amazing. Uh, terrifying, but flower. Well, you helped. We should be able to get into testation ivy now. Holy moly. That was crazy. There has to be some data here on the adamantine wreath we can use. I trust your focus will see what mine cannot. Okay. Oh. That's interesting. Find something? The fourth test station. Willow. It looks like it's underwater. Huh. Oh, this console's still operational. Another log. We're done. In every way. The reefs work. And Carvel came through. On a way to destroy them. Code key to the deployment shell triggers an enzyme. Causes the reeds to eat themselves from within. But it's too late. The latest projections from US Robot Command have swarm reproduction, outpacing our ability to drop the shells by 375%. Not even close. I guess we deserve this. 
for what I made here. This will be my last log before evacuation. So all their efforts were in vain. They ran out of time. At least we have the software module they created. It should get rid of the vines produced by the metal flowers. Nice. I need a workbench to load the module into my spear. There's one back at our camp. The map showed a path leading back there past the next room. Okay. That must be the fourth testing station we saw on the map. Looks like it's been flooded for a while. In here. We'll have to climb up. Right behind you! We can use the line to get down. Ah! Uh, right! Oops. Now we have the vine cutter. Nice. Made those right now. Now what? Now we get to that data core. As I was saying, I still can't believe you took on all these soldiers by yourself. But we better make haste. After we encountered barbarians, our lieutenant called for reinforcements. They could be here any time. Right. They're way up there. Ah, oh. we'll come back to it. Let's go to this. Ah, right. Let's hope this new module works. Use melee attacks to open the metal flower. I was blooming. Let's see if the software works. Silence. They're falling apart. The door's clear now. Excellent. All right. Time to bring Demeter home. All right, Demeter. I've never seen my focus glitch like that. Uh, I found a special type of data. It's something you can't read. But they kept a tight grip on the data core. But now you should have access to the central server. All of it. Should give you something to bring home. You were right. Hundreds of archives. Almost all of it relating to agriculture. It would take us years to get through all of this. But we don't have that kind of time. Uh, what you said before about- Ooh. Alba, hold your fire. By the word of the ancestors, you must stop. Come, look at who you fired on. That barbarian killed our soldiers. Uh, only those who fired blindly. She is no barbarian. She gave me the data we need. Come, 
Look at her! Can't you see? Elizabeth Sobek stands before you! An ancestor reborn! Diviner! We should bring the ancestor back! It is we who follow their word, Commander, not the other way around. Uh, my apologies, Dr. Sobek. Our people's faith is strong, but there are those who are not as familiar with the legacy as they should be. You heard the Diviner. The data has been found. You two, with me. The rest of you, meet us back at the beach for return to landfall. I can't talk long. They will have many questions. So do I. Your people know a lot about the past. And about Sobek, I guess, but they're... Please, I must know. What you said before about working towards the same goal, how long will it take? I don't know. A few months? Then you are my family's best hope. Let nothing get in your way. You have opened my eyes to many things, and for that, I thank you. We thank you, too. Will I see you again? Soon we return to Legacy's landfall. It might be dangerous for you to go there. Well, tell me how to reach it, just in case. It is far west, by the ruins near the Broken Bridge. San Francisco? Yes. You are well versed in the Legacy. We made landfall on the northeast edge of the sunken city. The currents around the archipelago are vicious, and the only approach is from the south. And it is guarded. Only attempt to go there if you must. Diviner! What's the delay? Please, go. If you attempt to stay here any longer, they may want to take you with us, and that won't go well for anyone. Right on. We can... I need to get Demeter back to Gaia anyway. But I might yep. want to explore the area before I make the trek back to base. And now I can use the vine cutter on those other metal flowers I found earlier. Yeah, you can. Uh, what's right here? Why is it right here? There we go. Return to base. Where is... There should be... Campfire. Nearby. More? Maybe? Please? <laughs> there we go. So one thing that I've learned, um, if you haven't already, but uh, you can pick up fast travel uh, beds or whatever they are. Um, and those work, but if you, there's this campfire right here. If you come to a campfire, uh, notice you can fast travel for free. I left control there. So I can technically just fast travel back to base here and it doesn't cost anything. There we go. And now we're back at base. Let's get up here. Excellent. Let's get this to Gaia. The meter. Go. Get up here. It is good to see you again, Aloy. I see you have recovered Demeter. I have. Aloy, 
There we are. With the acquisition of Ether, Poseidon, and Demeter, my heuristic processing density has expanded greatly. I should now be able to absorb Hephaestus. Unfortunately, we have made progress on a plan to capture it. With Varl's encouragement, Beta analyzed all available information on Hephaestus. Its expansion has been rampant. It is too large to be beamcast, and the kernel you have been using could never hold it. Therefore, it must be contained in a location with a direct physical connection to me. A place with two data cores. Two cores? Where would we find a place like that? Gemini. An abandoned cauldron in the desert west of here. Seismic activity disrupted the original construction. Two data cores were built as a result. I know that place. It's near the Desert Clan's capital. We'll have to bring you there by hand. I have devised a blueprint for a suitable, albeit unwieldy, transport rig. It will require two people to carry it to Gemini. I can help. Once I am installed on the first core, I will call down Hephaestus on the other, trapping it. I will then initiate the merge. However, in order to construct the rig, I will need considerable help. Can you build it? Looks like we know what we're could, going to be doing. Gonna work. The Zeniths will find you. Minerva won't be able to conceal your location. That is correct. Absorbing Hephaestus will create a significant power surge, easily detected by anyone capable of noticing. But what if there were multiple power surges? To fake out the Zeniths? If Erend, Zoe, and Catalo spread out to the other cauldrons and create their own surges, would those conceal the one at Gemini? Analyzing. Such a tactic might be effective. With Beta's help, we should be able to build a set of handheld pulse generators. I told you it's not gonna work! I did a test. Hephaestus has written Alpha Clearance out of its access module. You'll never be able to capture it! Then we need a higher level of clearance. There is no higher- Ted Pharaoh's Mega Clearance. The one he used to purge the Apollo database and kill the Alphas. To get it, you would have to find Thebes. The private bunker he retreated to when the world ended, and nobody knows where that is, not even the Zeniths. Their only intel was that it was somewhere in San Francisco. That might be all I need. Alva, the Quen Diviner I met, said her people had set up a base at Landfall. They were searching for data in San Francisco from there. She might be able to help. So I guess I'm headed all the way west. While I'm gone. Will you be able to build the rig and the pulse generators? I'll try. I'll make sure she has what she needs. Well, looks like we know what we're going to be doing. Hova said the Quen have a fairy. On and that completes the Seeds of the Past. That's where I need to go. And the new main quest is Pharaoh's Tomb. Understood. Well, everyone, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button. If you're new around here, please subscribe. And until next time, I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.